A very warm welcome to everyone. It is great to see faces tuning in from all over the world. Thank you for taking time off to join in the Talking Philanthropy Forum. The National University of Singapore is delighted to collaborate with Global Philanthropic to host this forum. A big thank you to the many who have been working behind the scenes to organize this forum. I would also like to express our gratitude to our sponsors, Decision Science Agency and Mr. Daniel Teo, who have contributed to making this event possible. The Talking Philanthropy Forum was initially planned as a physical event to be held at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy. Unfortunately, due to the ongoing pandemic, we have to go virtual. Although we are not able to meet in person, this event has gathered more than 3,500 interested registrants from across the world. We believe it is the largest philanthropy gathering ever in Asia. Today, we are also privileged to be hearing from over 30 philanthropists, leaders from public and private sectors, as well as notable academics who will be contributing their perspectives and experiences. With such a distinguished and diverse panel of speakers, I'm sure it will be a rich and insightful forum for all participants. It is indeed heartening to see so many people from around the world coming together for philanthropy. Philanthropy at its heart it's about looking beyond one's own needs and interests to contribute towards making a positive difference to others and to society and community, building a better future for everyone. The philanthropy landscape in Asia, in particular, is an evolving one. The region has and continues to enjoy an unprecedented growth in personal wealth more high net worth individuals are based in Asia. The Asia region is also home to the biggest and fastest growing industry giants, be it in manufacturing, technology, or digital services. Yet, this is also a region with many pressing and diverse needs, where over 400 million people are living in extreme poverty and abject conditions. I'm thus pleased that prominent Asian firms and individuals are increasingly taking a proactive and strategic interest in the region's sustainable development and progress. This would include, amongst others, eliminating hunger and poverty, having access to clean water, air and energy, inclusive quality education, responsible consumption and production, and more. There is real opportunity for philanthropy to reach and shape and impact the lives and futures of disadvantaged communities in Asia. I'm just looking forward to the sessions that are being lined up. This will be an excellent platform to share ideas and exchange views, which will hopefully lead to more research work informing public policies and the work of philanthropists. With this, I would like to once again thank our audience for joining us, and I wish everyone a fulfilling forum. Thank you.